Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this special uh, get out of the car promo uh, for our what? What's the date? July six seventeenth. Yes, July seventeenth tour. Um, Farnsworth's Charge, uh, a place that most people just breeze on by in their car on their way to Little Round Top. Um, but we're going to take you walking through it, and uh, you're going to see a piece of the park that uh, maybe you haven't seen before, which is the whole idea of it. Of course, joining me again today is Lewis Trott. Hello, Lewis. Hello. Licensed battlefield guide extraordinaire. And uh, Lewis, I don't know about the extraordinaire part, but yeah, well, licensed guide. <laughs> well, okay. In our in our world, you're extraordinaire. Oh, thank you. Uh, all right. Tell us, what are we going to see? On the tour. On this tour, we're uh, and I didn't plan it this way. I didn't think about it, but it's actually in chronological order from last month's tour. Right. From the end of um, East Calvary Fields fight and the next significant event, because Pickett's Charge was going on during that. Uh, after Pickett's Charge is over, there's still action on the field, the southern end of the field, and that's what we know today as Farnsworth Charge. Charge. It's the first Vermont making a charge against part of uh, Evander Law's what was Evander Law's brigade, part of uh, Robertson's brigade, brigade of Texans, and um, down near the Slider Farm. There's a Brigadier General that's killed. There's a Major that's awarded the Medal of Honor for this action. So while we can't walk the actual charge, we could if you wanted to. It's a uh, bug heaven. Uh, that's a pretty good wintertime walk, actually. Yeah. But we will get along uh, to many of the spots and be able to talk about the charge, the route that was taken, which... Nobody really knows. If you look at five maps of this charge, they're all different to certain a point. One of the what other. was it? Just like a crazy uh, melee type of it was to, or like every man from what? How, no, how? no, it wasn't every man from self or anything. But once they break that initial line, uh, and it's the cavalry charging against Texans along a stone wall, they get across that wall. So now the Texans are behind them. They turn towards the east. Part of the force turns to the east. They're actually turning towards Big Round Top. Then they turn north. Then you have Alabamians that are on the western slopes of Big Round Top on their right. Uh -huh. And they are riding north of the Slider Farm. Uh, and then they turn around and run the gauntlet back. Jeez. And at that point, they have Confederates on their left. They have Confederates in their front. Um, the action is very confusing. But if, if it had been a little bit more coordinated with the other brigade, and this is um, Farnsworth's brigade that's fighting here. Out towards the Emmitsburg Road, you have Wesley Merritt's brigade also. If, if those two brigades are more coordinated, perhaps they affect a bigger outcome on this part of the field. Mm -hmm. They're not. Um, it's just haphazard the way they go in. And uh, this terrain is not designed for a cavalry charge. Hell no. So It's barely designed for Merritt's a person doing, to walk up. Merritt's men are dismounted over on the Emmitsburg Road. You could exercise a cavalry charge over there right wide open fields yeah yeah um, not here so we'll talk about that you know i picked this because it's not that talked about is it in the grand scheme of things going to change anything uh you can degrade the confederates a little bit more if you plan it better um but it's but not gonna it's not gonna affect the outcome no. of the battle it's not gonna bring any already, the total destruction of the army or anything like that probably not but the confederate uh, army but they could uh they could have uh degraded the confederate army more so than they were able to do certainly so when we're on the tour um we're going to walk uh up the road a bit there's well i guess we should talk about this uh parking as we were just talking about there's a few spaces or areas that you can park one is down at the bottom of the hill by the william wells monument yep. there's also if you don't know where the william wells monument is across the road from it, there's two markers that talk about, uh, one talks about the, I think they both talk about the slider farm, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. Um, but you'll encounter that after you come down the hill off of the Confederate line. Yeah, there's only one way to get there by vehicle. Right. And you're coming down South Confederate Avenue as it turns to the east and slowly wraps around. It, it, it starts heading north. The William Wells Monument is going to come up on your right. There's parking areas there. Yep. If you pass by those and you come further up, uh, Towards the uh, southern slopes of uh, Culp's, uh, excuse me, Big Round Top, First Vermont Brigade's monuments over in the field to the left. There are more monuments there along that pathway that leads out to the monument. And if you continue up the hill, is the parking lot for Culp. Uh, I keep saying Culp's. <laughs> yeah, uh, Big Round Big Round Top, yeah. where the uh, bathrooms used to be. Um, 
There's I'm I think are there Porta Johns there? There used to be Porta Johns. Yeah, I haven't th- been up at there one in a point while. there were. So, uh, uh, but anyway, but when, anywhere so, along there. So you park anywhere along there, but where are we going to meet to start the tour? We'll meet at the William Wells Monument. Okay, and the so. William Wells Monument is also another way to find it is before the bridge. Yes. Um, yep. You know, you'll see some of us there because we usually get here around nine nine fifteen or something yep. like that. So you'll see some of us uh, in that area. Um, and then, uh, so, okay, so we're going to meet at the William Wells Monument, and we're going to do some walking. We're going to come up the slope of... We're going to uh, come up the slope out to the top here. First Virginia Monument, where we're standing at right now. Vermont. Ver- Vermont. I'm You're from Virginia. It's been a long day. There's yeah. a million motorcycles out here. Yeah, it's bike I'm old. week. Um, <laughs> and then we're going to follow the path out toward the field. Uh, to the slider farm. Yes. Now that's exciting because we very rarely ever go out to the slider farm. Most people uh, don't, uh, maybe they don't know how to get there. Uh, or maybe like one time uh, we didn't realize this, but we drove down there and uh, I guess whoever was living there narked on us and uh, the, uh, the, <laughs> the law enforcement came down and said, didn't you see the sign? And we're like, no. <laughs> and then we went back and we looked for the sign and we saw it and it was about the size of an index card and it was covered by <laughs> by tall grass. So, um, yeah, so most people don't know you could go down there, but you have to walk. There's yeah. uh, two ways to go and we're going to go uh, the way off of Big Round Top. We're going to come in from the east. Yes, coming in from the east. And uh, and uh, so, okay, so we're going to go to the slider farm. What are we going to see there? What's uh, the point of that? The actual action takes place around the slider farm, like north of it. But that's where you can get the view of it, um, where Farnsworth is initially knocked off as his horse gets um, shot. He gets on another horse, and then when he makes his way back to his lines, that's when he gets uh, mortally wounded. Um, so that's a piece of property that where you can see where this action takes place versus getting out in the weeds, in the woods. Uh, the tree lines today don't make it access- too accessible to see actually what happens. Right. So that makes it a little bit easier. Um, so we're not going to be actually talking too much about the farm itself, although it has an interesting connection to Natural Bridge, Virginia, um, which is a cool place. Um, but okay. we'll talk about that. Yeah, it comes Saturday. Yeah. Uh, and don't look it up. Don't look it up for yourselves because I like surprises. Right. Let Lewis tell you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but it's just a spot on the field where we can view the other points of the story from. Okay. So uh, that's uh, that's that there. Hope we see you July 17th, 10 o'clock. Come early so you can park and you know walk to where we need to meet. Yeah. Park on the pavement. Do not park on the grass. We cannot stress that enough. Do not park on the grass. If you do, you will ruin this for everybody. 5 is going to get you. 5 is going to get you indeed. <laughs> I learned that on TV. <laughs> <laughs> um, what was it? There was one more thing I wanted to tell everybody. Oh, yeah. It's sponsored by Mason Dixon Distillery. So when you're uh, in town, if you can, uh, go to Mason Dixon. They're actually going to be closed this whole week, including Saturday. So we won't be going there for lunch. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to actually have an organized lunch this time. It's a very busy time of year for people, yeah. um, the restaurants especially, and they're still having a hard time finding help. So uh, I kind of recommend that it you know, be like every man or every couple or every group of people for themselves, and you find a place that you can go. Um, because it's just going to be uh, too much for us to uh, go to one place at the same time. I'm going to spare the local restaurants of that this year or yeah. this month. Uh, so, yeah. MasonDixonDistillery.com. You can go there and uh, order. If you're in Pennsylvania, at least, you can order uh, their delicious booze online. So that's about it. Lewis, anything you want to add? I I think that's about it. I hope, you know, I know it's hot. Uh, bring bug spray. Oh, yeah. Um, sunscreen. sunscreen and water. Plenty of water. And uh, we'll hope for good weather. And I really appreciate the people that do come out. I mean, they're. They're, They're great people. They are. Very interested in the conversations we've had afterwards sort of affirms what we're doing out here in my mind. So it's been great. And, I, I and, really appreciate everybody. And I'll say this. I know you, you didn't you didn't ask me to say this, but I will say this for, for you. Uh, if you liked your ride, please tip your guide, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> uh, guides love tips. Who doesn't love tips? Uh, but Lewis works on this starting in August of the previous year. So this isn't something he just pulls together the day before. And no, So he's know. doing more than... Uh, the two hours of work that it takes to do the tour. So uh, let's show them some appreciation with that. And uh, that's about it. Thank you all for listening. We hope to see you out on the 17th. Take care of yourselves. Thank you. You're welcome. 
Our hearts so stout have gone a spin For soon tis known from whence we came Wherever we go they dread the name Of Gary Owen and Glory Instead of spot or drink down there And pay the reckoning on the mail No man forget shall go to jail From Gary Owen and Glory Instead of spot or drink down there And pay the reckoning on the mail No man forget shall go to jail From Gary Owen and Glory